Hi, my name is Michaela Seacrest. And I'm Milan Monroe. Welcome to the BRMHS monthly broadcast on WBRM-TV. This is a fun and informative broadcast that features what's happening around school. This month will include interviews from Key Club and footage from the annual Pancake Festival, plus much more. We will also be seeing an interesting interview of the two-time Emmy Award winning Mr. Esnault. We hope you enjoy November's broadcast. Let's tune in to Jolie, Grace, and learn about Key Club. Thank you, Mom. Mom. Kaylee. We're here with Ms. Stinson, the club advisor, and Molly Thibodeau, the club president. So what is Key Club and its purpose? Key Club is the world's largest student-led organization. It's also the oldest student-led organization for service around the world. And we're very happy that we have one of the oldest Key Clubs um, in the United States. Our Key Club here at Baton Chai has been around since 1943. And uh, imagine the lives that we've changed over that amount of time. So rumor has it the Pancake Festival happened this Saturday. Would you like to tell us a little bit about that, Ms. Denson? Yes, we had over 150 volunteers work at the downtown Baton Rouge Kiwanis Festival. We work it every year. Our kids will go and help set up for everything on Friday night. They'll help get there early Saturday morning, start making pancakes, start putting syrup and things on the table. It's a wonderful event and it raises tons of money for the Baton Rouge community. All right. That sounds fun. What are some of the kids' biggest involvements in the club? Um, some of our big involvements is the Eliminate Project. The Eliminate Project um, is to eliminate neonatal uh, tetanus, and um, that's a big thing part for mothers because we want their children to live and be healthy. Um, and so we have what's called Trick or Treat for UNICEF. So if you see kids with orange boxes, please put a donation in. Um, for UNICEF, we have raised over $13,000 last year. And over the past five years, we have raised over 30,000. And our new goal this year is to get 40,000. Sounds like a lot of these fundraisers make a big impact on the community. So what's the most rewarding part about being leaders of Key Club? I love working with the kids. I get to meet kids that I don't teach, as well as get to know kids that I do teach a lot better and watch them grow as leaders and watch them grow as a uh, leaders of service and we know we're making such a huge impact so it's really great for me to be involved with such a wonderful organization i was actually in key club when i was in high school and so i'm living the dream continuing as their advisor and for you molly i really enjoy um i really enjoy basically seeing the kids smile and loving what they're doing love serving the community love being leaders and i think it's just great seeing the, these kids be happy with what they're doing and making a difference in their community and world and that's why we joined Key Club, and you should too next year. Back to you, Michaela and Milan. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you, Key Club, for everything you do for the school and the community. Now, let's have a break and take a look at our school's Bulldog Bites. Hurry up and get your bulldog bites before they run out so that you don't get chased <laughs> like me. Upcoming, we will see an insight into Mr. Essenault's class. Milan and I got the chance to interview him and his students. Let's see what they had to say. 
Today we're here with Mr. Essenault, uh, a band teacher here at Baton Rouge High. How are you doing today, Mr. Essenault? I'm great. Fantastic. Um, our first question that we have for you is, what's your favorite part about being a music teacher here at Baton Rouge High? Well, first of all, I, I love the school, just environment-wise, I love being here. But uh, as far as being a teacher, um, you know, probably just sharing the knowledge, um, parlaying whatever knowledge I have to the students. I, I enjoy that process a lot. Sweet. Um, what's something that most of your students don't know about you? Well, some of them might not be as aware of uh, just what I do outside of school. So, um, you know, I, I play quite a bit as a pianist, jazz pianist, uh, while I compose a lot. Um, so I think some students are aware of that, but many of them probably aren't. What would you say is your proudest accomplishment? Um, well, I, I was fortunate to win a couple of uh, Emmy Awards for scoring for uh, public television uh, documentaries. I'm proud of that, but maybe even just as much uh, being part of the, even though it means I guess I'm old, uh, the, being part of Louisiana Music Educators Hall of Fame. That was, I'm proud of that, because that's, that's a big part of what I do is teaching, so. When you're composing, is there anything specific that inspires you? Uh, if I'm composing for myself, um, it could be anything, you know, if I'm if I'm composing for for hire, you know, for a film or something. Um, sometimes the director will give me the inspiration or just the film itself um, and also just listening to other composers. Mm -hmm. How long have you been making and performing music? I started playing piano at, at age of 10. I'm 50 now, so 40 years um, composing music in high school. I got into that and uh, I've been doing it ever since. And what instrument would you say is your favorite to play? Piano. <laughs> it's the only one I play. <laughs> <laughs> and could you play something for us? Sure, certainly. Thank you very much. Can you believe that Mr. Esnault has won two Emmys? Yes, it's pretty spectacular. Now let's tune in to some highlights from the intramural football game.
Avony Williams, and I'm on the field here with Marcus Roberts. All right, so I have a few questions for you. How does it feel to win? Man, it's incredible. I, I never thought the beginning of the year we was going to make it this far, but we made it. Shout out to all my teammates, Tickle Monsters for life. All right, tell me how your process was with this whole season. You know, we took it a game at a time, you know. We had a lot of stars on our team, you know. We all good, so we took it a game at a time. We beat the first team, beat the second team, beat every team. We do this. All right, and will we see? Will we be seeing you next year? Oh, yes, you will. To tickle Monsters again for the two feet. All right, that's what we have. All right, guys, so it's after the game. Everybody had a good time. We had a great turnout. The Tickle Monsters won 18 to 6. Can you guys believe that? We had a good time out here, and we hope to see you next year. I'm Avony Williams signing off, and bye. Amazing. Congratulations, Tickle Monsters. It was an impressive game. This wraps up this month's broadcast. Thank you all so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Get ready for next month's broadcast, and have a great day.